five um, levels, five different floors with a rooftop and uh, plays different music in each floor. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Florida Travel Vlogs here. And if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. In this channel, um, we record everything Florida related. Um, so I go um, to different areas of Florida, different cities, different neighborhoods, and I drive around and record what the different areas look like. Now, I focus mainly on the common residential areas, different Florida cities, but I also um, will be covering the touristy stuff. So um, if that's something that you guys are interested in, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell symbol to be notified every time that I post a video. I post a video every week. Um, but all right, guys, so let's get into it. So today we are in Ybor City. Ybor City is a uh, little community or neighborhood in Tampa located in Hillsborough County. Um, Ybor City has a lot of culture, guys. So... I'm really excited to do this um, little neighborhood. Um, if you guys are from the Tampa area, you guys know how much culture Ybor City has. So right now it is um, currently Tuesday, um, 1 p.m. Now, one thing about Ybor City is that Ybor City is completely different in the day than it is during the night on a weekend. Um, so, on the in the day, Ybor City has a lot of different uh, different businesses, different restaurants, um, and uh, and shops and things like that. But on the night, um, basically Friday and Saturdays, Ybor City is the party area for the Tampa Bay. And let me tell you, Ybor City is wild. I've been here a couple times, guys, and um, Ybor City, you see it all. But look, guys, as you can see right now, we're in Ibor City and it's very historic. Um, there's a lot of brick buildings here. And as y'all can see, um, even the roads here are paved in bricks. So this is really old. Um, everything from the signs and everything really historic. Right now we're on 19th Street. But yeah, guys, so Ibor City has a lot of culture. Now its history dates back. Um, I want to say to the 1800s and basically Ybor City um, was uh, had a lot of influence from uh, from Cuba and Cubans um, so back in the day when this uh, when Ybor City was founded it was founded I believe by a Cuban and um, it was known as uh, for its tobacco so there was a lot of tobacco businesses here in Ybor City and there still are. Um, actually Ybor City is known, one of its nickname is the cigar capital of the world. And just because they had a lot of cigar um, factories here, they were a lot of cigars were hand rolled and things like that. So Ybor City was uh, very big on that. And as you can see guys, a lot of the roads here are pretty narrow and um everything is bricks the roads are made out of bricks and stuff but this little area has a lot a lot of uh history and culture so i'm really excited to uh drive through here and show you guys but like i said um ybor city was um founded by cubans um italians i believe mainly cubans and italians so a lot of its uh history and culture goes back to that time and then also you will see um there's certain streets here and uh things like that that um are named after uh after the cuban um settlers or whatever but yeah guys as y'all can see um look at this central ebor parking there's a lot of parking garages here and a lot of parking areas because um on on the weekends Ybor City gets lit let me tell you guys so right now as you can see um, everything is calm because right now it's just mainly it's the daytime on a weekday but you come here on a Friday Saturday which by the way guys I'll probably make a part two of Ybor City and I will do that one as a nighttime on a weekend so you guys can see how lit it gets um, right now it's COVID so it might not be as lit as usual, 
but I'm sure it'll still be kind of lit. Basically, guys, um, you see all kinds of people from different ages, all the way, you know, from 18 all the way to, you know, um, grandmas and grandpas. You have all kinds of different ages, all kinds of different races, different classes of people that come out here to party because you have um, several nightclubs, bars, um, you have it all. So right now, we're actually getting to 7th Avenue. Um, this is the main road here in Ybor City where all the, um, all the bars and clubs are. So we're about to go through here so you guys can see all the different bars and clubs here. Now, like I said, this is Tuesday, but as y'all can see, even on a Tuesday, there's still a lot of action going on. I see a lot of cars and, uh, things like that. There is the Coyote Ugly Saloon. a lot of life here a lot of nightlife this place gets really lit on the weekends um so i will do another video showing you guys that but yeah guys look at this this is ebor city on a tuesday 1 p.m crazy how much uh how much is going on on a weekend you see these roads it gets packed everyone walking on the sidewalk this this place gets packed and by the way guys so um so if you guys don't already know, if you guys don't watch football, but um, the Buccaneers, the Super Bowl is going to be here in Tampa Bay. So um, that's also going to bring a lot of traffic here to Tampa Bay. Um, I'm excited. Um, I love the Bucks and support the Bucks. So hopefully we win this. But anyways, guys, back to the video. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way this way. And then um, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the other side. But yeah, guys, another thing about Ybor City, um, especially at nights and things like that, there is um, also a lot of homeless people. And um, but you see that everywhere. Um, there's a lot of homeless people, and there's also a lot of weird people. You gotta be careful when you come out here to Ybor City, uh, especially at nights, um, because there could be a lot of weird, crazy people, um, a lot of fights, things like that. But overall. If you want to have fun and things like that, Ybor City offers a lot. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and turn around. So you guys can see the other side, um, the full 7th Avenue. Which like I said, this is the, the most, um, what do you call that? This is like the center, this is the area, the street of Ebor where it has like the, everything going on. It's like the, and then I will show you guys that and I'm also gonna drive around and show you more of the residential um, homes here in Ebor City as well. Because I think that the residential areas are pretty cool too. And now I wouldn't wanna live here in Ebor City, but they have a lot of historic, um, classic old looking homes here. But let's go ahead and show you guys. Like I said, this is known as the cigar capital of the world. Um, and things like that. There's a lot of history, Cuban culture in, in, in uh, Ybor City. And there's actually a Cuban restaurant here called Colombia, which is Cuban and Spaniard. Pretty good food if you guys want to check that out. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and show y'all the other side here. Um, so there's that restaurant I was talking about right there on the left. Um, actually, I have him. You guys will see it here in a second. All right, so we're about to pass it right there on the left. That is the Colombia restaurant. Um, it's a Cuban and Spaniard restaurant, and it is pretty good if you're looking for um, Cuban and Spaniard food. But yeah, guys, this at night. It gets all lit up. Um, there's lights on the streets and things like that. And it looks pretty nice. Alright guys. So y'all can see. Look how much traffic. It's a very popular area. People everywhere down here. So this is just, this is just the main road here. 7th Avenue. 
Um, like I said, this is where most of the businesses and uh, restaurants, bars, things like that are at. There's also a lot of artwork here. Look at that. There's a mural there. Um, I'm probably going to want to get down and show you guys that. Different murals. Acrop Acropolis. Uh, there's a lot of tattoo shops here too. A lot of cigar shops. Um, things like that. I love Ybor City. Got some really good uh, New York style pizza here too. Oh yeah, the smell is hitting me. see all the buildings here very historic um, you have a hookah lounge here on the right of me um, everything there's Prana one of the most famous uh, clubs out here it's got five um, levels five different floors with a rooftop and uh, plays different music in each floor there's more cigars the blue devil tattoo um, like I said so many different nightclubs here you have um, Prana, there's uh, the castle, um, forget the rest, there's the honey pot, that's right there, it's a gay bar or a gay club, not not really my thing, but for any of you interested, that's where it's at, um, it's also the Ritz, um, which is like, for they have a lot of different comedy shows and things like, things like that, so down here, there's also the Tampa Theater, um, no, actually the Tampa Theater, that's in downtown. That's not here in Ebor. So another thing, Ebor is right next to downtown. So we're like five minutes away from downtown. Um, which I'll probably show you guys that in another video. Right now we're just focusing on Ebor. Yeah, guys, that right there, that's 7th Avenue. So I'm going to go ahead and turn and um, one of these roads. And we're going to go look at the different parts of uh, different areas of Ebor. Now look, right there is the Tico um, tram. So that, guys, is actually um, the only tram. There's like a little trolley car that I know of in the area here in Tampa. And it actually takes you from all the way through Ebor to downtown Tampa and back. And it's pretty cool. I've never been on it, but um, I need to go check it out and uh, show you guys that. All right, so we're going to turn in here. So here to the left, we have a little parking garage. Like I said, a lot of historic buildings here. Oh, so this road is closed. Um, let's see if there's a, we're gonna have to turn left here. There's a lot of construction going on in Tampa. Um, lately, been a lot of construction, different um, buildings and things like that. They're expanding a lot. Tampa's growing immensely. Like I said, the roads here are, uh, oh man, they're all bricks, most of them. So if it gets pretty bumpy, you know, sorry, I'm doing the best I can. So the video might be a little shaky at certain points. I'm trying to go slow so um, it doesn't hit the bumps as bad, but the roads here are all brick. So they're pretty bumpy. y'all can see guys look everything is historic there's a brick buildings right there and I have to drive really slow so right there is a Hillsborough Community College um, <clears throat> one of the campuses that they have they have several, but this is the Ebor campus, as y'all can see there, the local community college, HCC. I said, guys, this 
This little neighborhood has so much culture. I love it. There's a child development center. So another thing guys, um, uh, here in Ybor City, you will see roosters. Um, so I just saw one, you guys couldn't see it because the camera um, just wouldn't pick it up in the location, but you see roosters here sometimes on the road, things like that, it's kind of common. I'm gonna go ahead and turn and show you guys. Let's see if we can see some of the residential areas here in Ybor. There's the streetcar, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, just passed by. That's pretty cool. There's just so much to see. There's a Rosoy Indian cuisine. So, a um, little bit of everything here. All kinds of different foods you can try out here. So, we're back on 7th Avenue. We're gonna see if we could find a different spot here to check out. So I see some homes here. Um, let's go ahead and make a right and then we'll come back that way. So a little bit of more businesses this way. Now there's a huge huge um there's a huge event here that they have um, every year. Now this year I think it was canceled or postponed because of COVID. But um they have Gasparilla. Uh, so they do the main Gasparilla parade is in downtown Tampa, but then um, they also have a night parade here Which gets so lit. Um, it's so crazy. Um, and it's so much fun So when I've when I've come here to that Gasparilla parade um, You just see those the floats uh, driving around um, throwing beads and just there's like vendors selling food music everything is just so packed but um, I think this year it got canceled or postponed. Actually, I think it's canceled. But yeah, that's something that happens around, I believe the night parade happens around February. The regular Gasparilla parade, the day one happens around January. All right, All right guys, so we're gonna turn this way and see what, what um, homes we can find here in Ybor City. Yeah, guys, if you guys really like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the little bell symbol to be notified every time that I upload a video so that um, so that you guys could be notified and uh, watch more videos like this. And also, if you guys really like it, you know, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and share this video so I can get it to more viewers like you. So there you go, guys. Look at that little historic, really old houses not anything really nice um but they you know has a lot of culture really old antique homes let's keep going this way and see what more houses we can find 
look at that guys so yeah you're not gonna really find i don't think there's anything like modern here but um all like antique historic looking but i love it all right so it looks like we might have some kind of apartments or condos um here on the left that's actually kind of interesting that's a little modern twist to it pretty nice all right let's go ahead and turn in here and see what we can find yeah guys these roads are really narrow um you know everything's historic here but i like it very interesting so we're gonna turn right here look at that guys more little uh modern twists so like antique style but modern that's pretty cool one thing here is there's not a really a lot of space you know to park and stuff so there there's a lot of parking designated parking areas a lot of lots um usually on the weekends when you come here at night you have to pay to park um i'm not sure in the daytime but it's either that or there's like parking garages and things like that um there's also a lot of parallel parking oh shit <clears throat> Here guys, check that out. All right, we're going to check out more of the residential areas here in Ebor. Let's go look at some of the maybe older style homes here. Vintage Roos Markets. Yep, I think I hit the jackpot. Found the homes here. Um, so let's go ahead and go straight. Alright guys, so the road at right here where I'm at, it is paved. So that's good. Um a lot of the Ebor area they have the brick roads and very bumpy right here we have like a paved area let's go ahead and turn on this road and show you guys A lot of like south southern a lot of southern looking homes um you don't see that a lot um here in florida so a lot of these homes have the porch in the front you know like the houses in the south georgia alabama things like that hmm, so this is different so it looks like now this looks more like the regular houses you would find in Florida. This is kind of like towards the outskirts of Ebor. So I'm gonna turn back and go back the other way, get closer to the center. gonna see how it changes these are just like your regular typical Floridian homes um, once we cross this stop sign you're gonna see how the houses changes to like the antique houses of Ebor southern style so yeah 
there, guys. Check that out. Very southern style antique homes with a huge front porch. That's very different. This is a nice um, area. It has a lot of culture, a lot of diversity. Very little interesting little neighborhood in Ybor City, Florida. Let's go ahead and turn left. approach the center of Ebor we're gonna get the brick road again so it might get a little bumpy oh these are like modern these are new huh they're still weird looking back to the main um, part of Ebor and see if I can show you guys a little bit more um, I think I didn't show you guys central Ebor so they used to have a movie theater there but they uh, I think that got removed a, a year a couple years ago they removed the movie theater Goosebro County Sheriff's Office Actually gonna take you guys um, through Seventh Avenue one more time to show you guys. Oh, this guy's beeping at me. I'm gonna take you guys through Seventh Avenue one time, um, one more time to show you guys the main part of Ebor where all the attractions and things like that are. This guy behind me was in a huge rush. I'll take you guys um, across 7th Avenue and we'll call that a day for this video.
with that mural. Viva Ebor, I love Ebor. Y'all can see you with the Cuban flag. A lot of Cuban culture here. enjoyed this video go ahead and smash the like button comment down below what you guys would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and um, I will catch you guys in the next video peace